Today's math lesson, we're going to cover um, odd and even numbers. Does anyone have an idea of what, what an odd number is? Timothy. The odd number is 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And even numbers. Uh, 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 there's one more that's missing from odd numbers. Odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, or what? A mirror. Eight. Not eight. Nine. 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 Good. And even numbers. Who can tell me about even numbers? A tower. Zero. Even numbers end in. Even numbers end in zero, two, uh -huh. four, six, or eight. Good job. All right. Make sure you jot this down. Okay. All right. Okay. So, <clears throat> with this being said, let's look at page 36. Evan's class is going to the zoo, so the students are lining in pairs. Today, there are 18 students in class. Does each student have a partner? There's 18 students in pairs. I mean, in class. So, if we were to split this, and we had 18, we're beginning with 18, and we want to pair these 18 students up. Let's use some counters. counters. Well, we don't have any, so I'm just going to draw them on the board. All right. So we'll just use the pink for girls, and we'll just use the black for boys. We have 18. So that's going to be nine girls and nine boys. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine girls. See our nine girls? And then we have nine boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we add these together, we should get what number? Eighteen. Eighteen. Two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 18. Good job. So, do we have an even amount of pairs? Yes, yes. All right. So, because why do we have, so 18 is even, correct? Yes. Yes, no? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right. So, since 18 is an 8, it is a what type of number? Even. 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 Good job. So each student in Evan's class has a partner. All right? Yes, ma'am. So let's use our class, for example. How many people do we have in our class total? Yes, Ashanti. Six. Six. So if we wanted to pair you all, would we have an even number? No. No? Yes? Yes. yes. No. Which one is it? No. Even. No. No. Which one is it? Raise your hand if you say yes. If we'll have an even on. Raise your hand if you say no. Why do you all say no? Because when when if one of them partner up, she I mean, can't yeah. partner up with no girls. But you told us that we had six. Now we don't necessarily uh, have to have yeah, girls. Yeah, we have but six. we do just so happen in this class we have six uh three boys and three girls. Do, do we not? We do. We do. All right. So, we don't necessarily have to go by boy and girl, but as long as we have an even number, we'd be able to par partner them up equally, right? Yes, yes. Great. Okay. So, I'm going to draw some counters on the board, and I want you all to tell me if we would have an even number or an odd number, okay? Yes, yes. All right. So, if I have... All right, how many counters do I have total? Raise your hand. Um, Ashaki. Eight. Eight. All right. So is this eight even or is it an odd number? 
Raise your hand. Atala. Even. Even. Why? No, it ends within a chocolate. It ends with an eight. Eight. Good job. So, if I added one more, one more counter. Timothy. It's an eye. Why? Because the, the, the girls have... No, let's not talk about boys and girls. That was just because for the first example. Let's look, think about the number of counters. And four. So, what are you saying? It's, a, it's, a it's an odd number, but why? Because Somebody help them out. It's nine. It's what? It's nine, and nine is a... Is a Why is nine an odd number though? Because it ends in what? Good job. All right. Any questions thus far? All right. For future reference, you can always use a number line. Who knows what a number line is? Anybody? No. Okay, well, let me explain it to you. And jot this down. We're going to create a number line on the board here. So you want us to write number three? No, I want you to draw what you see me drawing on the board. All right. So we're going to start at zero. Number it to, um, to ten. Okay. Zero. All right. Yes. All right. An easy way to determine if a number is odd or even, you can use a number line and count by twos. And if it lands on one of these, it's what? If it lands on one of these, it's what? It's even. Even. Good job. But, 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 if it lands on one of these, it's odd. Odd. Good job. Any questions thus far? No. no. All right. Let's look at number one. Tell whether each number is odd or even. Count those counters. How many counters do you have for number one? Twelve. Twelve. So, is twelve odd or an even number? It is a even. Even. It ends in what a taller? Twelve ends. So why is it odd if it ends in two? We're looking at the last number. If you have one digit numbers, you just look at that one digit. But if you have multiple digit numbers, like twelve, you're going to look at the last number. Alright? Okay, so the number twelve, is it an odd or an even number class? It's even. Even. Good job. Let's look at the next set of counters. Number two. How many counters do we have on number two? Eleven. 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 So, is that an odd or an even odd, number? Odd. Odd. Good job. All right. And the next set of counters. How many counters do we have? Nine. 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 Page down at the bottom, number three. No. Number, th um, number three has nine counters. So, is this odd or an even? Odd. Odd. Good job. All right. Now, let's go ahead and look at page 37. I'll give you some time to practice and work amongst yourselves. Do we have any more questions? No. Yes, it's a Yes. 